as we say, in terms of the setup, you can see that club face now. If we zoom on the club faces, how there's a bit more angle and loft, or the perception of more angle and loft, than that, because the club face now yeah. is pointing down square. Okay, it seems to you like it's aiming over there, but we can just see on the camera there. But there's no sort of trick of the camera there; it's just facing straight at you. That club is not leaning yeah. back as you think it is. Okay, the hands are nicely forward, the club face is square, and we've got the club face down in a good start position. The thing to focus on now is getting that body to twist through. So your body leads the club as it comes down. So you're setting the distance in your back zone, sort of halfway back, not a full swing as we said. And now your body is clear. So at the point of contact, your hips now have led. Right knee's coming in. That left hip pocket now is sort of twisting out of the way and twisting through now to keep the club face and the sequence of the club behind the body. Yeah. If the body sort of stops on this case, we see it now, the body stops, the club sort of flips over your arms. You can see sort of rolling over now. You get that rolling with the arms and the club face closing. And that's always been your sort of I said, ethos of trying to hit the ball somewhere left. Yeah. You've always had the issue with the driver previously with the sort of ball slicing this way. So you've done whatever you can at address, aim the club face left, then try and roll the arms over and all these different things you were trying to do to stop a golf ball slice to the right. Well, now a lot of them, if not all, have disappeared. So any movements out of trying at the golf ball left, it's the ball to the left kind yeah. of thing. So it's trusting the club face more so with the short irons. It's more of an optical illusion, as we said, because you've got more of an angle. The club face is sitting at you in some way. So it's like, well, I want to put more face on the golf ball. So I just turn it in a little bit. Yeah. And it kind of worked in the past because your previous swing sort of opened the club face. Now that's gone. And I think now you're in the ball a lot straighter, as you said. You're squaring the club face up naturally. You can keep the club face now square in the back swing. You can lead with that body. So you're setting the distance by going back. That's nowhere near a full swing. But as we said, that 80, 90 yard shot is not a full swing for you. Yeah. Your wedge goes 110, 120. So anything from sort of 80 yards, 70, 60, 50, you can change the club and obviously change the length of back swing. Okay? And that to you now is starting to feel like the length it actually is. Yeah? Yeah. Whereas we did last time on the course, I said, right, swing to that position here. And your arms were like sort of up there doing a, almost a full swing, weren't they? Because that's where you thought, well, that's, that's the same. Oh, hang on. Yeah. This is why your distance control was off. But... Part of the reason they're going left, club face aiming left, number one, and that feeling of sort of flicking and rolling the hands. Get that club face square, let the body lead a bit more. And the, the last dozen or so shots, a lot more flight on the golf ball, yeah, a lot yeah. higher, coming out a lot softer, body's clear, and you never slice a pitching wedge. You might go a bit to the right, okay, but you can always snap up, pull hook because you've got the loft face in you, see it this way. So, club face square, body leads, and that'll send you at that ball a bit straight to Okay, mate, yeah, good cool. stuff.